Welcome to Triumph and Disaster, a show dedicated to manly creativity and culture. Brought to you by your host, Cameron McHarg. Hey guys, it's Cameron McCarr. We're back for another episode of Triumph and Disaster, and this week we recorded out of uh, Seattle, Washington, with Angel Colmenares, who's a really interesting guy. He's a cinematographer and photographer, um, born in Cuba originally, grew up in Mexico City, ended up bouncing around different places, and uh, he um, he does tin type photography today. That's uh, he's he's still a DP, he's still cinematography, but he does this wet plate tin type photography, which is like. Basically, that old, literally on metal plates, old school, from like the 1850s kind of Civil War look, photography. It's really, really cool. He actually shot a couple of me um, that I have up in the triumphanddisasterblog.com. You can see it's it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. But he's an interesting guy. He, he grew up living all over the place, and uh, he actually lost his right eye when he was 18 years old. We talk about that and how he got past that. I mean, I can't even imagine. I mean, his whole life was the visual arts, and this happened. That was his dominant eye, and you know, that's a that's a serious, uh, that's a dark moment to get through. And I, I find I find that fascinating when people are faced with that sort of thing and how they get through it. And he talks about that a bit, and uh, it's it's crazy. He went to um, Standing Rock to shoot. Uh, if you go, um, I'll put his website up, and you can also see it at uh, triumphanddisasterblog.com. Um, but you can see his uh, photography that he did there during that. And he did it with like this mobile sort of little trailer he hooks up on his uh, on his truck, that's like a mobile dark room with all this old uh, old chemistry and all this old stuff. I actually he brought me in there and did the he, he did the process and when I actually saw my pictures coming out, it was, it was, it was a really cool experience. But um, I put pictures of that up on the um, triumphanddisasterblog.com, and uh, this is kind of a short one. So um, I think we're uh, like about thirty minutes, something like that, thirty thirty five minutes. So. Short and sweet, Angel Comanaris. All right, man. We're, so we're already recording. This got to so, be an issue. The the table. The, 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 the squeaky chair. thing. Nah, it's okay. I've been. Right. I've done it. I've done these things like in bars and stuff. <laughs> Coffee shops. <laughs> okay, well, or like, like your <laughs> motorcycles going by or sirens or whatever. This squeaky old chair that we got here. So, um, yeah, we only we only known each other for a few minutes. Just having a coffee here. So I wanted to call you Angel. That's right. <laughs> it's not how you, you really say your name, though. <laughs> Angel, 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 Angel. Yes. And um, all right. So, man, there's a lot to cover. We're sitting in your studio with cameras with lenses from the 1800s, right? Yes. And they're fucking beautiful. They're all uh, brass lenses. Um, most of them are either German or French, uh, and. It's just a, a, a new obsession that I have. Right, right from the very beginning of photography. <laughs> yep, the 1850s. And uh, it's uh, just doing a lot of wet plate collodion shots. And uh, I guess I'm sure we'll talk about that. Yeah, yeah. We're, I'm just, there's so much. I'm, I'm fascinated by all this stuff. And then you have what, a bunch of old, like, Super 8 cameras and stuff up yeah. there. I love those things. Well, too. I grew up in film. So, uh, so that's my first love. And. and and I think it's it's a whole cycle that uh, I've been through from the old cameras that you see there, the Super 8s and the 16s. I'll, and, t- uh, I'll show th- pictures of this that we're talking yeah. about. By the way. So, uh, yeah. Like s- straight Super 8 or, or 8 millimeter and Super 8 and all that right. stuff. We're going to bounce all over the place, dude, by That's the way. Right. So That's we'll be all right. over. So I, um, we're up in Washington State. And... Uh, Dude, this is the most beautiful, beautiful place. You're on the water. It's and it's fucking gorgeous, man. It's so beautiful up here. I've only, I grew up up here, but I've only been back up here a few days. Yeah. Up here, I saw a Seahawks game with my buddy and stuff. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it's a trip, man, because I, I decided, I don't know what it is, but I really wanted to, uh, with my sister, to go check out a house that we grew up in, in, in elementary school even, and walk around it and stuff. And um, And we did. I'm still, it's the strangest feeling. I don't know if you've ever done something like that before, but it's weird, man. It's kind of a weird bury the hatchet feeling. I'm still kind of going through right now. I'm not even sure what it is, but yeah. I feel like I've made peace with something. <laughs> it's a weird <laughs> thing, man. That's, I, I'm in kind of a weird place just even coming in here today. Like, it's like, uh, it makes me think about everything, like just about life. Like, I'm living in LA and I'm like, kind of part of me is like, what the fuck am I doing down there? And, 
the part of me doesn't really belong here anymore. It's a it's right. it's, it's a weird thing, dude. It's a weird thing. It you're, is. I you're mean, not I, from I, here either, right? No, I'm not. I, I, well, I'm born, I was born in Cuba, but I grew up in Mexico City. You did, yeah. And uh, so my wife and I go back there uh, every year. We go there and spend Christmas and New Year. Oh, you go every year, and and we go to the same house that I grew up. And you do. And to me, it's kind of like I see it, and like man, salvation. I didn't want to be there. <laughs> yeah. My friends are, uh, you know, they're gone. Either they're in a uh, couple in jail or a couple somewhere else. I don't know where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of not even alive about, sometimes in my case. Yeah, same thing in yeah. jail or yeah. It's, so I'm happy not to be there. I love going to see my family, but you know, it's just. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Kind of a similar thing. You wanted to avoid it for a long time, though. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, so my first time that I came to the United States was to uh, in Seattle. I it was did, really. Yeah, I did well, not the first time, but as in living here, I I came and and, and started high school here. Where where'd you go? Shortwood High School. Oh, okay, no way. Yeah. That's not too far from my. Uh, it's pretty close yeah. to here, actually. It's North Seattle, well, kind of, right? Now you go there, you'll see the new building. That wasn't the old building. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the one next to, next door. That's kind of like. Run but that's down. a trip. Okay, wait. Oh, so you 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 grew up in Mexico City? And didn't didn't you say? And what about Cuba? Where? Well, I was oh, born in Cuba. You're born in Cuba. Yeah, okay, but, but I, then you grew uh, up. In... We, we left Cuba when Castro came in. So, okay. Uh, my dad was blacklisted. Uh, my whole family was blacklisted, so uh, we had to get out. Was he was involved in politics somehow? Or no, but it, it, like it, an intellectual it was just, or something. In that time, any any uh, businessman, any any uh, uh, people that had money, and, yeah, and and they were, you know, they were considered to be enemies, enemy of the state, right? Because uh, it was a it was a very corrupt government before Castro uh-huh. came in. So uh, he was blacklisted, and so we left. Uh, we landed in New York. Uh, and we were there for like three years in New York uh, before we moved to Mexico. Wow, what a trip. Yeah. You probably don't remember New York very much. I do remember New York. You I don't do. remember Cuba. I remember New York. So I was, I was from three to five years old in New York. And then Mexico City to what, you came up here when you were a teenager? Yeah. Yeah. I came here when I was, I was like 16, 17. Holy shit. How was that transition? Was, <laughs> was it? Yeah. Well, you know, I was having troubles in Mexico with school. Okay. And uh, so uh, my dad said, you know, either go to a military school in Mexico or we send you to the United States. Okay. You were you were a little bit of a rebellious, troubled teenager well, a little I, bit? I, I blame the school system. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I was too. I was too a parent. I mean, like, yeah. I was a good kid, I think. But when I got into my teens, it got a little dicey right well <laughs> that's what happened here yeah we got a little dicey in mexico and so they shipped me here and uh um so yeah I, I i i lived here for a while until i moved back to mexico yeah um and then from then i just could not live in mexico anymore so i i kind of went to new york lived in new york for a while i did a, a i was assisting uh, some photographers there okay uh and then from new york to san francisco uh, San Francisco. That's where I got the the bug to uh, start film. Okay, from from still photography yeah. more to. So I've to always film. been a still photographer. Yeah. And then in San Francisco, I, I that's where I really wanted to do film. Um, you know, that was a hard one for me, just because I lost my eye, I lost the sight of my eye, and um, uh, in that time. And your right and your one eye. Yeah, my right eye. Yeah, but your other eye is still good to go. Yeah. But you're, yeah. But all the cameras, all the film cameras that I was working with, uh, they were they didn't have the pivot, the eyepiece to pivot, you know. So I had to like stick my my left eye in there and my big head in the camera, and that, <laughs> that didn't quite work. Were you like right eyed? Do you know what I mean? Like, did you aim with your right eye, yeah. that kind of thing? Oh yeah. wow! So you had to really relearn yeah. shit. Yeah. And per- perspective kind of moves a little bit with your oh, other yeah. eye. Yeah. Holy shit, man! You're doing it like that. Yeah. And how was, old How old were you when you lost your your vision in your eye? It was uh, I was uh, eighteen. You don't want to talk about it, do you? You don't have uh, it, to. It, you know, you know, I, I don't even know what it was. So I mean, but you don't have to talk about it. Yeah. No. But it's, you it lost. Was in, it. it was in Mexico City, mm-hmm. and it was a. Uh, um, uh, there's this place in downtown Mexico. It's called Garibaldi yeah. Plaza, which is a place that you just go and get drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and it's, I did it's a, a lot plaza, of that. and there's like I don't know, probably 50 bars, and every each bar has a mariachi band. Mm-hmm. So you just go there and you just go around the mariachi bands and, and you know. Par hop. Yeah. And I got assaulted. I mean, that's what it was. Yeah. So. Yeah. But Jesus. Yeah. I, that's, but it's fucking amazing that you're doing this now, that what you do now with 
with your other eye, the, the one that you uh, weren't yeah. dominant with. Right. So Holy that, was, that was a depressing time just because I always knew I wanted to be into, in photography and or film. And, you know, when I lost my eye, like, man, you know. I'm fascinated by that, though. So. So, you, you, yeah, you pretty much thought it was over. Yeah. Like everything. Like your life, in a, in yeah. a way. And then, I mean, especially film, because uh, um, I thought that, in well, the, the, the very little experience I had with film cameras in that time, they were all uh, very, you know, they couldn't move. They didn't have any... any uh, the IPs did not move. So oh, right, it, right. It was like, you know. Right. It was, right, right, right. It was one so, right. solid thing. Yeah, it was like a left eye thing for everybody. So. What, so was there a, so what, what happened, man? You just, was there a point where you just thought like, all right, man, I'm not, I'm not just going to let this go. Like, you, yeah. did you try to look, there wasn't, I mean, when you know what you're supposed to do. Like when you, when you have, it's not really even a choice. It's what you're supposed to do. Right. It's not just like, well, you know, I guess I'll become an accountant or something. And it's not, just, it's not like that. No. So you I, just, you just, what, what was there like a moment where you were like, I got to well, figure I, this I, shit I knew, out somehow. I, then. I, I always love photography. Uh, so I started, I said, if I cannot be uh, in cinematography, I'm going to be a photographer. Yeah. So, um, uh, cause I knew that I, you know, I, I need one eye for my photography. Yeah. So that's all I need. Yeah. So, um, so I had that eye and, uh, I, I went to school, um, uh, and, uh, to learn photography and, and that was that. Where'd I you know, go? To, in Brooks. Oh, okay. Santa Barbara. Yeah. 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 Holy shit, man. I didn't know about any of this stuff. Yeah. But, and so, you know, it's, it's always been, always been, uh, maybe it's part of, that don't have an eye, you know, and I, I never really cared um, what it looks like. I, I did wear a, uh, a, a glass eye for a while. Oh, you did? Yeah. But um, uh, obviously because we don't see me, but, <laughs> but it's not that I don't have the eye. It's just a, a white eye, you know, uh-huh. um, and uh, uh, but it was a pain, you know, you wear those things and you just rub your eye and your eyes facing the wrong way. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, and then somebody is not telling you because they're embarrassed to tell you that you're oh the fuck way, that's terrible you know? yeah and then i will lose him you know yeah i flushed one down the toilet once so <laughs> <laughs> it's worse than an iphone i guess yeah. right Kerplunk. yeah so, like so but i, I, I gave was, up on that um just visually though like i was just thinking you know i've always wanted to go to cuba with a camera man before i mean especially now like i'm because I, I'm sadly, I think it's a matter of time before it's just like loaded with Starbucks and McDonald's. Oh yeah, you know? it'll be another Caribbean island. Yeah, and I would love to go there before that happens with the camera. I've always thought that'd be so cool, and it's open now, but I don't think the window is going to be yeah kind of slim, you know, before right. things kind of yeah. We get were, a we were we're planning a trip soon. I just have a um, I'm just trying to figure out how to get there, just because the Cuban government still considers me a uh, Cuban citizen. Even if I am an American citizen already. Oh, so they so can. They still can. Yeah, because I was born there. So they want me to get a Cuban passport to go there, mm-hmm. which is a pain in the ass now. I mean, it's not risky in any way, is it? You're not, you wouldn't well, be detained risky, or something like that. No, for but it's, it's just a I, pain I, in the ass. It's an extra hurdle I have to go. I yeah. Have to, you know, somehow get a Cuban passport. So I don't know how that's going to go. Jesus. Who long? That might take forever, too. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Same with Mexico City, though. I mean, visually, that's. I mean, as far as photography goes, yeah, it, it's fascinating place, right? Yep, it is. Yeah, both both places are amazing. I mean, yeah, it's just you know the and Cuba is the colors, you know. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. That that sort of uh, those sort of pastel kind right. of faded. It's just you know, it's, it's funny. I always always think the opposite. I always always want to go to like to me Cuba. I want to go with a like a monochrome camera that you yeah know, man shoot it yeah <laughs> oh my god that'd be gorgeous so, and, and those like, cars too yeah and Mexico is so Mexico City is so um, uh, it's it's just it's overload of of it's imagery bright and colors and, and yeah and and but it's also very monochrome monochromatic naturally yeah it's yeah because it has so many concrete buildings and and and, and wires and telephones and, and and it's just crazy you know that it, you kind of lose the colors of it you know. Because it's it's overwhelming. Yeah, it's overwhelming. <laughs> nothing yeah. nothing stands out in particular because yeah, everything no. stands out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but it's just how you see things, you know. So yeah. Well, let's uh, talk about that. So the the film thing. 
um, I, f- I found out about you through a mutual friend who is, uh, considers you his, his mentor. Barry. Barry. Yeah, we just talked about him for a yeah, minute. Yeah, Barry Norwood. Really cool guy. Another talented guy. Yep. Um, but he sort of learned under you. Is that what, is that the case? You guys? Well, we, we started, started together. So yeah. when I started uh, DPing, um, uh, he was my, my first AC. And more than that, he was just a friend. He was a great friend. And uh, we just did a lot of stuff together. We did. In uh, that time, it was uh, be, uh, pre-video, you know, pre-HD. So everything was done in film. Yeah, everything we did was on the thirty-five or or sixteen, super sixteen. So uh, we we don't we didn't have the convenience that we have now, where you can everybody has a four K camera yeah. or, or <laughs> anything like that. You know, we had to actually get insurance to get a camera. You know, rent the camera, go and prep it, and do it right. Do it, yeah, <laughs> and then do it right. <laughs> yeah. So we went through the whole process together, which was great, and we did some amazing stuff. And you know, how do you feel about that? By the way, like I I, I think. Uh, I've been working on. We haven't. <laughs> we're ta- what you. What everybody's hearing right now is almost the extent of what we are. Our talk together. Right. Anyway. So yes. we haven't talked that long. <laughs> so um um. So yeah, I've been working on trying to get well a couple different things made. But there's a movie made that we want to do on film. I want it to be on film. Right. I feel pretty strongly about it actually. Yeah. Do, do you feel the same way? Yes. I mean, obviously we have. I, I'm assuming you do since we're talking yeah. about cameras from like the 1850s or whatever. Yeah. Actually, if you open that little uh, refrigerator, is uh, is it's nothing but film. Oh, nice! <laughs> Just film. Nice there. for these cameras, you mean? For these cameras, and for a, uh, you know, my I have thirty-five millimeter cameras. Okay, uh, yeah, you stick with other, that. I stick with that. Yeah, I mean, I still obviously I shoot digital. Uh, I'm not a purist. Yeah, I mean, but you know, yeah, yeah, but I mean, there's certain things like, uh, well, like what you're doing here, and like these faces and these people, and you were talking about you were going to go to Idaho. while well, the weather might not permit it, but right? We well, yeah, cowboys so and stuff. Today like, we'll decide. Yeah, like actual like cowboy dudes. Yeah, yeah, real cowboy dudes that uh, uh, there is it's a whole different lifestyle and it's 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 so cool, you know, to meet those people. I would fucking love that. It's I just, just saw right. Wind River last night. Do you know about that movie? I have not seen it, but I heard about it. Yeah, it makes me kind of think about that. Yeah, one time I was I went to um, the uh, Apache Nation in right. Southeast Arizona and I actually did it for a peyote ceremony. Oh really? <laughs> no, now that's in public, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did it by myself. It was fucking amazing. Yeah. It's, it, no exaggeration. You have to um, you have to drive on a dirt road that it's almost thirty miles long, like a little just right. dirt road. Right. And, I mean, you're way beyond any kind of oh, yeah. cell phone reception, yeah. any of that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's amazing. That's a whole different conversation. Yeah. But um, but driving out there through the Apache Nation, I don't even want to call it reservation that much because they're just so right. There's it's it's an awful awful thing, man. Yeah. They're really sad, yeah. but um. Ever since then, I really wanted to go back with a camera, you know. And mm-hmm. the thing is about that, though, is I don't want it to be like. It's because I'm really fascinated with with the people there, you know. It's not yeah. like um, I don't want it to sound like some sort of exploitation thing, like you know, like a, a kid that just gets a camera and is going to school. I'm going to go take picture of homeless people downtown. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Like no, it's it's just that I just think there's something kind of sad yeah. and beautiful about it at the yeah. same time, you know, and and. Uh, film would be the way to go for something like that right you know so that's i mean that's interesting because that's uh uh i have a book here somewhere uh it's a um, uh richard abaddon book but it's on the west and he just did this this portrait uh book on that him traveling just on this little towns in the west yeah and that's what gave me the idea of uh that's how i started really with uh wet plate collodion what's it uh, called again wet plate collodion okay you want to talk about what that is? This yeah, is what it's, you it's do the, the old, old process. Thing. It's like uh, it started in the 1850s, um, and it, some people call it tin type. Because tin you type, can, right? Yeah, I've you can shoot it on tin, or you can shoot it on glass. Um, just for me, just for convenience, I, I do tin. Yeah, um, and uh, it's 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 a process that you actually pour the collodion on on the tin type, then you put it on the silver nitrate to make it light sensitive and then you put it on a film holder and then you shoot it before it gets dry. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have to go and process it before it gets dry. So. And is it really slow? Is it one of those things where you just have to um, expose the light and you have to stay yeah, still have, kind of a thing right. for a minute? Kind yeah, of thing? because you know, if, if you know anything about photography, is uh, the, the sensitivity of a collodion is like minus one ASA, you know, ISO. So it's minus one. Yeah, it's super slow. <laughs> you know, so when you sit for a shot, if you sit up for a, for a portrait, which we'll do it in a little bit, 
uh, it'll probably be a maybe a five six second exposure. Okay. Oh, well, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Yeah. But I but you'll be bathed in light. I mean, has, all these lights will be on. Yeah. So you so, do have to not like yeah. anything to stay still. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it's triumphantdisasterblog.com. Triumphantdisasterblog. That's where that's where I'm gonna have it. Okay. Triumphantdisasterblog. So you, we'll see the result there, and hopefully I won't have like you know both my eyes closed and like. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll do a couple of plays. <laughs> no, I'm excited about that though. Cause I, I think this is, fuck. I just think talk about like when we're talking about film and, and soul and like choosing that over, over uh digital. I mean, this is like the ultimate example of it. These people, I mean, these faces are, do you have, what, you have a website for your photography? I'm assuming. Right? I, wanna... I, I do is I haven't made it public yet. But oh really? I mean, yeah. You can see it. It's a, a chemical angel. Okay. Dot com. And uh, it's just because uh, this, is a, for me, it's a long-term product project that I'm okay. doing. Okay, and you feel like you're just kind of getting started? Yeah, I, I started last year, you know. And oh, is I, that right, really? Yeah. Wow. And I started with, uh, I went to, uh, my first outing was I went to Standing Rock. No fucking way. Yeah, I took that beast, the big 11 by 14. Yeah, and, and so uh, this thing is I like, just I drove to Standing huge. Rock, North Dakota, and um, I, you know, I, I got myself in there. <laughs> <laughs> wow and it was it was a nightmare not a nightmare as an experience it sure just, it, but it was i mean it was trying like to get that 30 to 40 mile per hour winds when i was there and freezing so it i mean that thing is like a sail so i had to hide the camera behind my trailer so it wouldn't blow away oh my god and then when i you know everybody that tried to post for me which there were amazing people there you just go out there and oh tell me what you're gonna say i'm sorry yeah no it, so it was it was a it was a difficult condition of of shooting and it shows on the on actual images because uh uh you can see collodion is kind of very finicky to work with and yeah. so any kind of uh, organism that flies into it or any kind of the wind even the wind will affect the image and it shows and i think it's great because that, it just gives it more character. Yeah, yeah, that would be beautiful, yeah, right? I love that. I love all the imperfections of it. Wouldn't that know? give like sort of that sort of old um, what's his name, Matthew Brady, the Civil War era guy? Do you know what I'm talking about? He did he 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 did a lot of the the well, he did mo- almost all of the photography from that you see from the Civil War. Right, right. I think his name was Matthew Brady. Yeah, there are a couple that are and, really, uh, really good in that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Like out there, out, it's you know, it's outside most yeah. of the time. I yep. mean, standing by a tent or something. Right. And, it's incredible. I mean, it's the, yeah. It looks like that. Yeah, that even gives it more soul though, doesn't it? Yeah. It's it's and and it's um it's a whole different uh, uh subject. I mean, not a subject, but a format just because <clears throat> it does show the what it, it I feel like it shows her soul. I mean, like that lady there, uh that's the Luz. Left. I met her and she is uh she was an immigrant from Mexico. Uh illegal. Mm-hmm. She she didn't really want to do it, but all I right, talked sure. to her a lot, you know, and she was like, okay, sweet. And she was, I mean, her eyes, it's just like. That's crazy. You know, Those she actually are... cried when she saw that picture. And, uh, That's awesome. Yeah. And, and, and it's, an, it's also, it's an, it's, the image is inverted because when, you, when it goes through the lens, it just, this is not, there's no correction to it. So they see themselves in a very different way when oh, they see the interesting, picture. interesting. Yeah. So a lot of people have a very different reaction when they see themselves on this format. Which is cool. It's insanely cool. You know. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to, I definitely want to pull off a couple of examples so people can see that. Yeah, man. I feel a little, I feel a little, I don't know, I'm a little, a little bit intimidated. I don't really care that much usually, but well, yeah. I feel like this, this, you're right. This is like really going to reach in and kind of see you. Yeah. <laughs> And it's, I mean, cool. for me, it's a great format. I was, I was, uh, and part of the reason that I'm, I'm actually even playing with this kind of format, I just, um, I think I got tired of, of digital, yeah. uh, and just kind of chasing the, uh, the, the K, you know, the 4K or 6K or 8K. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah, it became, yeah. everything became about the gear and not the art, you know? Yeah. And that's, that's what's happening a lot out there. That drives me nuts, by the way. Yeah. That's one of those things when I see people that are like, uh, you know, whatever, they make, they make stuff and uh yeah. you know they'd be posting things online about this new camera this new camera right. and i i don't i don't give any shit about that at no. all i i just don't find yeah. that interesting it has nothing to do by the way you know you can get this whatever k camera it's not gonna 
You're yeah. not going to make a good movie because you have a whatever camera. I mean, it's not going to improve. I mean, it's not like I mean, you could. I'm just saying, but that's not yeah, going to do it. Right. It's not going to do it. No. You have to have <laughs> it inside you. you yeah. Know? I mean, it's, it's if you if you're not able to work on film and and any other format medium, then uh, you know you should be able to do an amazing art with just a little tiny camera you know maybe even better yeah because you're kind of forced to take the time right. to you know yeah do you feel like when you're back there looking through that lens do you feel like you, that you're kind of that they're you're kind of peering into that you know what i mean like you can see it in the finished image but when you're actually looking you, through it yeah like do you feel like i mean i'm not a photographer like i like to shoot right. stuff i mean i like and i like i'm fascinated with people i love people when they let their guard down and actors right. actors that are good are, are people who do that in my yeah. opinion yeah. and uh so i love actors the ones that are good not the ones that are you know trying to pose and be famous or whatever but right but um i just find that the most fucking beautiful thing and but there's like a weird thing where there's like a weird unspoken communication that needs to be there almost it's a trust thing i guess and when people let you see that, when you're looking through there and you know that that's like that moment or something, right. that we can, there's yeah. something pretty special about that. Man. Yeah, I mean, there's a moment on this process for me is, um, the cool thing about this process is that I have to sit with a person for a, lot, uh, a while. It's not like I'm shooting, you know, 10 shots and get a, a, a beautiful portrait of you. It's, it's one plate. Yeah, and it'll take me, you know, ten, fifteen minutes to take, get that one plate. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's this connection that you have with the, with your subject matter that is very different than any other, you know. Yeah, and you, you got to figure each one out, right? Right, so, right. So it's it's a uh, uh, to me even I'm I'm ha I mean actually those three that you see there are one plate. So I, I didn't take two or three. That was just one shot. Wow, and. And there's no no retouching or nothing, so that's what it is. You wow, know? So that's it's, it's, fucking awesome. It's a it's a it's a great feeling. <laughs> yeah, but the connection to me is, uh, and you'll be able to see it when when we process it. You you actually see the image coming out, and that's when you go, whoa, you know. Yeah. Because it 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 uh, it'll, it'll take you know thirty seconds to come out. Whoa! I didn't know that. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, so it's uh, it's pretty cool when you see that image coming out. How did you, how did you when you were at Standing Rock? How did you, uh, you just kind of went down, went out there and saw someone that, that that kind of captivated you somehow, and then like you'd pull them over and, and ask them if you could shoot them. Uh, yeah, I mean, Basically I was just I, like I was that. really interested in what they were doing uh, with uh, the whole pipeline, and 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 I thought this needs to be recorded. I mean, yeah. I don't know if what they're doing, but I, and I didn't see anything coming out of it. Other than what what was coming out in the news, um, so I just wanted to take the the I wanted to like formalize it and take some portraits of the actual water protectors, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So and I had this in my idea, but I don't I didn't have really the knowledge of how I was going to do it. Yeah, <laughs> and so I learned really fast, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just yeah I got there and uh, I. Uh, Bought a bunch of uh, coffees from um, from Starbucks. Yeah, I bought one of those big jars. Things. Yeah, and I went there, um, and I met uh, this uh, this girl from she was uh, I forgot what tribe she was from, but she just went around, showed me around the whole camp. She introduced me to the to the elders and and to the main guy that I had to go and see because he's the one that would give me permission to okay. To actually, you know, shoot. Yeah. And and how was, and that that? was it? How was that? What was that like meeting him? Were you? I was. It was. You know. It was just. Hey. You know. Hi. Oh yeah. <laughs> what are okay. you doing here? You okay. Know? Cool. And I think their their main their main uh, worry was that they they did not want to be um, romanticized. You know. Interesting. And I didn't want to do that anyway. Yeah. Um, In a way, that's sort of what we were talking about earlier, like about you know. When I mentioned like the homeless guy example, right. I mean ex exploited and romanticized right. are kind of different, but and not 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 yeah, kind of two sides of a coin, yeah, in a way. I know so what you mean. I I I every every person that I photograph in there, uh, is is to me was just straight on, you know. Spirit, there they are, it's spirit to spirit, and this is what it is. However you come in, I'll I'll take a photo of you, and and that was it. And so you, the only means that you'll see, I'll, I'll show you some, but those were all just straight on, you know? Yeah. Is this, 
Is this the direction you want to go for a while in your life? I, um, I, I, well, I have this project in my head that I want to do, and it's, it has to do a lot with uh, film plus, one or, or still. Uh, well, I, you see, I, I can do both. I mean, or you don't have to talk about it if you don't want. But I mean, no. What, I mean, when you say I, a project, I, I, I have this project on uh, that I want to do on the on on photographing with uh, the the web play Collodion. Okay, and, like a book um, or something. Yeah, I just want to do a book. Yeah, um, I think it's. Pretty cool. Uh, okay. Film wise, I still love doing film and and videos. Yeah. Um, but this thing seems like this is like something that is feeding your soul right now. Something you yes. need to do right now. Yeah, I need to do this right now. Is there like a a certain subject matter of people? A certain or type uh, of thing? You know, I like just, I'm gonna do a book on uh, cowboys in Idaho or something. Or right. is it just gonna be like? I, would, I mean, at the end of the day, that is, I think that at the end of the, the whole project, I want to see um, a whole, the whole gamma of what America is about and, and who, is, who, is, who is an American or yeah. who is not. I mean, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So, because uh, I've been to, um, like I, was, I went to uh, some of the farms on Eastern Washington yeah. in Quincy. And so I, I photograph a, a lot of the farmers there, a lot of the Amer- Mexicans that come over to pick you know uh, the grapes and and anything and and so I, I started photographing them too um i'm going to idaho to do some cowboys um the the ropers and the people that do the rodeos so i want the characters you know yeah i want the the it it, it might feel romanticized right now because those are the people that i'm getting but then i want to also get military people i want to get Interesting. Uh, the police. I want to get uh, people uh, in the city. Or whatever, uh, everything. The Muslim. Everything. Everybody. You know. How and do you then combine them in a way that you can put? You know, all of a sudden you're putting a, a Muslim woman on a shot next to a Native American Indian. Or, yeah. And then you know, flip it and you have a, a military personnel with a, you know some you know it's just yeah yeah. Oh, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, so that's that's kind of like what I had in my head. <laughs> how, how do you? How, th- you know what's f- kind of fascinating to me about that too. I mean, it, and it might sound it might sound like it's not, but with with good photography and stuff like this, there. I mean, just actually getting people to allow you to do it is a whole kind of skill in itself. Right. Yeah. I mean, in a trust process, yeah. right? Yeah. Because so, I show up just by like you know with my little trailer and. With this gigantic, <laughs> yes. gigantic camera, like, like three by three foot, and that's yeah. Almost. And the, the, the funny thing is, like, okay, what, what, you know, I want a copy of it. Like, well, yes, but you have to, you know. Yeah. So, do you have to get like? Uh, does it become like sort of technical? Do you have to, here? You have to sign this release and this kind of stuff, or you, can you just, you know? On this one, I do book? just because I just want to make sure that I do it right for the book. Yeah. yeah. So if I if I do have a show or or the book. Um, I'll have permission from anybody and somebody and as far as everybody I shot, nobody has an issue with it, you know? Yeah. And I do get their information. So, um, once, once the, the plate is dried and, 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 and ready to scan, then I send them a, a, a print. Yeah. 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 You know? Good. If, is, do you have like, I mean, <laughs> you were kind of showing me around the house, it, beautiful view, the the water and all this stuff. And you, you sh- there was a piano in there, a bunch of books, and there was a big fort <laughs> that you're kidding me son. that you made with your son, which yeah. I thought was so fucking cool because I used to I used to do those on Saturday oh, mornings man, and stuff. Yeah. But it made me think, like, um, so you're, I mean, you just you have a creative kind of playful quality to your, you know, your soul. Do you do other things besides this as well? Besides uh, shooting, do you have, do anything? Uh, like a, a music or or anything like no, that. No, the only music I do is I I, um, I play the ukulele to my son. <laughs> That's cool. One song that I know. <laughs> How old's your son? Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Yeah, but he loves it. So every time he he goes to bed, I'll just lay down next to him and play the ukulele. Is he interested in this stuff too? Uh, you know, it's uh, he's interested in more everything uh, technology related. Okay. He loves. Yeah. I think this for him is. Uh, He's scared, not scared, just because uh, every time I, I like uh, have to make a new batch of chemicals for the for the the the, the, the photos, I, I usually grab him and say, "You gotta sit for me now. I gotta take a shot of you." <laughs> okay, okay. And, and like, he like uh, runs away, you know. So I have to like either pay him or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. I say, "Okay, I'll give you five bucks. Just sit here. <laughs> Don't move." <laughs> so I actually got a. Uh, um, it's <laughs> Well, you, I'll show you later, but it's a, uh, uh, I found this uh, on eBay. It's a uh, uh, 
wax head of uh, Glenn Ford. Uh, oh, actor. cool! Yeah, yeah. So it was an eBay. I looked at it. it was like three ten to Yuma, right? fifty the original bucks one. or something, and I got him. So now, when I need somebody to post for me, <laughs> <laughs> it's Glenn. It's Glenn. <laughs> it's Glenn. I have a bunch That's of a photos of Glenn. Cool mug for that. Yeah. Do you um um? You know, we were talking about you know places that are home and where you grew up with and that yeah. kind of stuff in here. For whatever reason, I mean, I live in Los Angeles, have for a long time now, and. uh for whatever reason, I don't know if it has to do with the weather or what, but something about here makes me feel, I, I, I kind of feel a little more creative here, actually, for some yeah. reason. And maybe it is the weather. Maybe it is the sort of introspective, kind of dark, rainy thing. Oh, yeah. That, it, but do you feel that way? And do you feel like you're going to call, this is where you're going to call home, basically, this is it? Or do you, do you have I think a, this a, a said, longing yeah, for somewhere I else? I think that um, it, it took me a while to get used to the weather, just because I, you know, I like the, I'm from the, sun and yeah. water it's beautiful today but yeah that's, that's pretty rare it, get, it gets <laughs> it gets bad yeah especially here because we're kind of like on a on a on a you know cliff here thing and so when it when we have the storms it, it, we just get pounded and yeah like, yeah these trees will fall and it's it's hardcore yeah but it's it's also uh it's cool to be in your own bubble and and you are creating here and it's pretty amazing too you know yeah it's a it's, it's a different different things come out for me when I'm in, in that atmosphere. Yes. That when I'm, uh, you know, in the, in the summer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 For sure. Yeah. For sure. So it, it's interesting. A lot, a lot, a lot darker, I think. For me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's true, but yeah. it, it's not always bad. I mean, no? I mean, that's where all that dark music from the nineties came from. I think a lot of it's just the, yeah. the region and the weather. <laughs> yeah. I know. Um, yeah, we can get we can probably wrap it up in a minute. Is is there anything? Yep. Uh, I mean, you, you're not you. It was kind of a little bit of an effort. You didn't didn't really want to do this. You're a little kind of a little more like yes. doing the work rather than talking about it or being <laughs> sh- shot and that sort well, of thing. Well, we just met, like which five is cool. Ago. We just met, yeah. But it was but, great because the, it's this perfect time. Now I feel like I know you and and, and cool. We have so, a little coffee, you know, yeah. shooting the shit. But I mean, before we go, then is there anything that you want to? You might want to mention or anything maybe you thought I was going to ask that you wanted me to maybe you want to talk about? Well, probably nothing that you want to talk about. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, right now it's uh, uh, we're going to have you in front of the camera and see what happens. Oh, Christ. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to. <laughs> so whatever happens is going to go up. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, but I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm actually honored honored that you're doing that cool, i think it's man. really no, cool it's, even, it's, even if i do look <laughs> with my eyes closed or whatever no it's it, no well actually yeah. if the sun stays up maybe we'll do it outside okay. i was worried about that just because here it's, it's uh, inside it's definitely a uh, 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 big of an issue just because it's a longer exposure oh okay um so we'll go we out might, in the wind like we you talked about do it outside we'll see how it is outside all right well fuck i'm actually really glad that we did this before not after yeah so we can shoot the shit a little before but um yeah, man, it's really cool. Yeah. It's really cool to meet you, and I'm really looking forward to staying in touch and seeing how this whole project turns out. I, I love that you're doing it. I love that kind of stuff. I think it's, I think it's cool. It's really cool. Yeah, it's, and, uh, it's definitely feeds your soul. You know, I mean, and I think it, I, I am not to get polit- I'm not going to get political, but I, in a weird way, I think it's sort of, it's sort of timely and important mm-hmm. what you're doing now. I mean, what you're planning on doing with right. this book. You yeah, know? I think so. I, I hope so. I mean, you know. yeah. It's, I don't mean to make it sound political. It's more of a consciousness than a political right. thing, you know? Yeah. Which yeah. is really important and really cool. And like you said, it's something that has a grab on me right now, and it's kind of hard to explain it, but that's what's grabbing me right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, you know? and you got to do it. You got to do it. it and see you got to listen to it. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thank this you. This has been cool. Yeah. Let's see how this turns out. All right. All right. So that was Angel Culminaris, you guys. Um, make sure to check out his website. Just go to, uh, you can actually go to chemicalangel.com, chemicalangel.com, and you can see some of his stuff there. And I'll put examples and, uh, and links and things on my, uh, on triumphanddisasterblog.com. So if you like this, like any other ones, like I say in every episode, it would be really helpful. You just go to iTunes and leave a quick rating and review. And it's not for me. It's just that's how uh, Apple... Uh, that's how they promote their their shows. So the more you do that, the bigger and better we get here. And uh, we'll see you next week. Triumph and Disaster.